Hi, this is Frederick from the techno label Detroit Berlin and today the A196, the PLL, the face lock loop from Duffer. I had this module on my radar for quite a while but I never took the step to actually buy it. There was a follower from the channel and he suggested I do a video about this module. Just bought it and I think it's an extremely interesting module and I actually I really like it. It's a very quirky module in the way that it can behave in a kind of an unpredictable way. So for live use maybe not the best, for studio use and to make really great sounds I think it's a wonderful, not too expensive but wonderful module. We're gonna have a brief look at what the PLL is. Let's quickly go over it and if you're new to the channel please feel free to hit that like button and to subscribe to the channel that will help me out. Also got a Patreon. Let's jump right into what this PLL does. It's a loop and it's face locked. So you got an oscillator inside that's a square wave, pulse wave oscillator and it tries to match the incoming signal. So when you feed it another square or pulse wave then it does its job wonderful and uh, it's really nicely in tune and it sounds pretty standard, pretty basic. When you feed it something else then it becomes unpredictable and you get weird sounds and yeah that's something I really like weird sounds weird crunchy sounds that you don't get everywhere and I think the PLL is kind of the secret recipe for happy accidents and yeah sounds really being able to be tweaked in kind of an interesting way. I've got the O-Tool from uh, Dave Jones Designs. The oscilloscope, you can follow on the oscilloscope what it actually does. The top one is the face lock loop and the bottom one is the signal going into the face locked loop. Let's give a brief overview. So you've got three sections. The top one is a square wave pulse wave VCO. You can put it in a high range, a mid range or in a low range and yeah it's kind of kind of an octave switch. Then you got the output which is normalized to the input of the second part of this module and that's the phase comparator. It has three different algorithms. You can switch between the three of them and they will each interact with the incoming sound in a different way. So this is the signal in. It's the second input. It's where an external signal goes into the module and then everything is sent uh, back into a low pass filter it's kind of more like a slew. It's actually um, limiting how fast the face lock works onto the incoming signal. So you can tweak the sound of the face lock loop with this knob. You can also use the offset of the VCO to also tweak the sound so you get different yeah, offsets, different intervals but it doesn't sound like different intervals. I will show you in, in an instant how it sounds and how it reacts to incoming sound and then it is sent back into uh, the input. It controls the CV input of the oscillator which means that yeah, it, it tries to follow the pitch of the incoming signal. So if that is totally already too complex it is a pretty complex module but yeah the only thing you need to know is 
you need to put a signal in the signal in can also use it without a uh, signal going in and just tweak the knobs a little bit and you also get sound but less interesting so you need to put a signal in and everywhere there's an output you can actually take the signal and send it to the output of your system so yeah let's just uh, go over it Let's see, this is the input. So the matriarch uh, oscillator one, the wave output, so I can select the wave, is going into the signal in. And then I will maybe first take the square wave out. I set up a small little arpeggiator to show you how this face lock loop sounds and reacts with incoming signals. Hope you enjoyed this session and I hope you can follow on the oscilloscope. So here we go. Here we have a little loop. So this is the signal only from the face lock loop. This is the original signal from the matriarch so it's actually uh, just smoothly following the pitch I turn this frequency from low pass up you kind of hear that it tries to catch up it's not as strict as Can put it in mid range. And now the sounds get really interesting. You can also see the waveform is like moving. Kind of a weird pulse width modulation. The offset makes it try to take like overtones kind of sounds, a little bit of a sync sound. It enriches the harmonics. it really loses the signal and then it just quiets out so this was using the pulse wave from the matriarch oscillator going into the face lock loop I'm gonna do exactly the same but I will be playing with the wave shapes so when it becomes a sine wave it really is going to be interesting to see how the face lock loop will be interacting with this oscillator so let's go
you still got this really weird pulse width modulating sound and I think it really interacts well with different signals um, using the face lock loop as just its own signal it, it's pretty okay but if you layer it with the same oscillator with a different waveform or you layer it with a second oscillator then the sound can really become interesting and round and still you've got that, that special touch that the face lock loop uh, introduces so yeah all in all I think this is a wonderful module if you're interested in the face lock loop you can always look in the description down below there are some affiliate links which will help the channel also got a link to my patreon down there for exclusives for all those uh, audio files from these videos I will put them on my patreon account for you to download and lots of other goodies so please check that out and yeah, I would like to thank you for watching, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, that will help me out. And yeah, gonna play a little while, so yeah, feel free to hang out a little bit.
Thank you for watching.